Hello, my name is Andrew Walton, and I am honored and privileged to serve as the 2022 ASCE Illinois Section President. I would first like to thank you for viewing this President's address. Unfortunately, with the advent of the coronavirus Delta variant, the Section felt it was in the best interest of all to cancel the annual in-person event to protect the health and safety of our members. As a result, this President address has been pre-recorded. Though 2020 and 2021 have been challenging years for the global community, I would like to acknowledge and thank outgoing President Brian Pavula for his leadership in accomplishing many of the goals he set out to achieve. His patience, hard work, and dedication to ASCE initiatives contributed to the successful oversight of section operations. On behalf of the Illinois section, I would like to thank you for your service this past year. To the section's annual dinner committee, awards committee, and executive secretary, thank you for all the time and effort preparing virtual award recognitions and these video addresses. And finally, to my family, who have long supported all my endeavors over the years, I would not have achieved success without your consistent love and encouragement. And most importantly, I would like to thank my son, Jack, who inspires me each day to be a servant leader and share my knowledge, excitement, and passion for the civil engineering profession. As I look forward to my year ahead as president, I vow to make every effort to grow and strengthen our section. The following are key areas in which I plan to focus these efforts. Adapting to a new normal, the section will offer a mixture of virtual and in-person events to safely engage with the community this upcoming year. We will advance our continued membership initiatives to grow and strengthen our local membership base and are looking forward to release of the 2022 report card for Illinois infrastructure. Founded 105 years ago, the Illinois section represents over 2,800 professional and student members in Northern Illinois. The Illinois section includes five of the nine society technical institutes, in addition to an award-winning younger member group and the urban planning and development group. These institutes generate the technical content and opportunities provided at the local level and are the backbone of the Illinois section. Many of the institutes drew large audiences to virtual content offerings this past year, as this platform opened the opportunity for larger audience participation. The society also increased virtual offerings and has embarked upon some exciting initiatives to connect and engage members. 2022 ASCE President, Dr. Dennis D. Truax, has kindly pre-recorded an address to the Illinois section members to expand on some of these society level initiatives. While the pandemic has thrust upon us a new way of communicating and doing business, the value of personal connection developed through in-person engagement cannot be understated. It is my goal to safely institute local events, both in person and virtually moving forward. We are planning to host this year's monthly board meetings and some events both virtually and in person to allow flexibility in our member interactions. Key in-person events we are targeting include the President-Elect Student Scholarship Dinner, an outdoor summer social event, and a return to the annual awards dinner by fall of 2022. Looking even further ahead, the Illinois section is excited for the ASCE annual convention tentatively planned to be held here in Chicago in 2023. There are numerous ways the Illinois section continues to connect with our membership, including student outreach efforts, such as the mentorship program, student resume book, and student scholarships. The local membership champion initiative identifies one point of contact at each firm and agency to facilitate communication of local programs and inform new hires of ASCE membership benefits. Local Illinois section members are involved at the society level, presiding over the Structural Engineering Institute, chairing the Committee on Student Transition, and sitting on the Life Member Task Force, Construction Institute Board, Leader Training Committee, and occupying regional governorship roles. ASCE has also long advocated for care of the nation's infrastructure. Since 1998, ASCE has issued the Report Card for America's Infrastructure, and since 2001, it has been released every four years. Using a simple A to F grade format, it examines current infrastructure condition and needs, assigns grades, 
and makes recommendations to improve various infrastructure categories. Since 2010, the Illinois section has prepared a state infrastructure report card on a similar four-year rolling basis. Following the same methodology, the state report card takes a more localized look at these infrastructure categories within Illinois. The 2022 report card for Illinois will fall on the heels of the 2021 report card for America's infrastructure, and we are on target for a launch in spring of 2022. The section is also planning to host a government relations university prior to the launch to help guide local members in expanding ASCE's government relations presence at the local and state level. And finally, my last section initiative is a challenge. Utility engineering and surveying are disciplines of civil engineering involved in nearly all transportation, structural, geotechnical, and environmental infrastructure projects, but are not represented locally within the Illinois section. I think they should be. The Utility Engineering and Surveying Institute, or UESI, offers professionals working within the utility, pipeline engineering, and surveying communities the opportunity to network with others and shape the future of the industry by participating in technical activities, conferences, and development of internationally recognized standards. My challenge to the membership at large is to find a champion or group of champions within this practice to facilitate creation of a local UESI chapter. This expanded institute offering will enhance membership opportunities and capture a wider array of civil engineering professionals not currently represented at the section level. In closing, I am excited for the opportunity to lead the Illinois section in 2022 towards the completion of these goals and initiatives. Thank you for listening to this address and goodbye for now. <laughs>